Due to overwhelming requests by the viewers who I care about, I care a lot about you guys, the Rabel Stash is gone. R.I.P. Rabel Stash. It just wasn't a good idea, Paul. Wasn't a good idea. It's just thicker than I remember. Oh. Flavor saver? No, no. Welcome to week 11. First shot. A lot of news just happened this week. We had a game against the Bayhawks here in Annapolis, and I'm back in Baltimore. Remy, Remy, say what's up. Not interested? All right, go to your place. Good boy, that's a good boy. Trade deadline in MLL was this past Tuesday, and the Lizards made a big move. We acquired Drew Westervelt, a personal favorite on this channel. You guys saw him as my partner in crime in the Baltimore Inner Harbor throw in this game of pig. You get a letter if you hit a bag. First one, PIG wins. Let's go. You're shooting first. Oh, to the outside. I was like nervous. Why? Because <laughs> I wanted to hit it so bad. This past week, the NLL's Toronto Rock acquired my rights from the New England Black Wolves to play in this coming NLL season. Many of you guys know I've just been playing in MLL the past few seasons. I used to play in NLL for the Washington Stealth. In fact, won an NLL Champions Cup with them in 2010. I took the news to Twitter and gave my response in a series of four different answers. I said, although I didn't suit up for the New England Black Wolves, I'm very grateful for the competition and relationships built with the Philadelphia Wings. Very humbled and grateful to have been asked to play for such a historic organization like the Toronto Rock. The Toronto Rock's $20 million lacrosse specific training facility shows the commitment to pro lacrosse our sport needs as do their fans. The overlapping schedules of NLL and MLL means there are difficult choices ahead. Hoping this changes in the future. So, NLL, MLL, founders, commissioners, operators, owners, I challenge all of you to find a way to have both leagues coexist in a way that there is no overlapping games or training camp so that the professional players, the best players in our sport that are willing and able to participate in both leagues can do so. Rabel's Kitchen. Let's head down to the original hashtag AskPaulHQ. All right, we're here. Highlights from this weekend's game. So, game didn't go our way. We lost to the Bayhawks in front of 14,000 amazing fans in my home state. Thanks to all who came to celebrate July 4th weekend and support the Lizards. There was a lot of Lizards fans there. I got to meet some of you after the game. Interestingly, when you deal with losses like we have and talking about this vlog through the summer of 2016, I go through ups and downs as we all do in games. I got a great email from my dad referencing one of Pat Summit's letters to a player. RIP Pat Summit, one of the great coaches, leaders, and mentors of our generation. The secret of the game is in doing your best to persist and endure, to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. I'm proud to be your coach, Pat Summit. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Dad, for sending this to me, and I encourage you guys to listen to this after losses or when you're heading into games, keeping game and life in the right perspective. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July weekend and an even better Monday. I spent mine with friends and family. Here are two picks. Oh, and I also found out that Matt Bocklet looks like Dean Ambrose. No? Yeah, Matt. It's time, you and I, tag team partners. Sorry, Scott. And that's it. Week 11 of 16 is in the books for my summer of 16 vlogging MLL season. Now, last shot. Haters are gonna say it's fake. 